Previously on Hibbert Home Tech. We'll turn the air purifier off. On? No, it's already on. Turn it off. On? No, off. On. No, off. Turn the f***ing air purifier f***ing off. You f***ing off, off, off. On? So ye liked asked if they could sponsor a video and send me a mystery box. No man can resist a mystery box. And the box arrives, and I'm eagerly tearing into it, thinking, what treasures could await me? And I find this, a Google Nest Hub. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. I had to learn the harmonies just for this joke. So today's video is my first foray into the world of Yeelite, and I am shocked at just how much I've been missing out on. The Google Nest Hub's requirement will soon become apparent, so without further ado, here are five reasons you should be buying Yeelite instead of Philips Hue. I don't personally suffer with flicker or CRI related headaches, and so I've never actually included either of these two things in my testing. But Philips Hue fanboys have often thrown this at me as a reason that Philips is superior, because they have superior flicker rates and superior CRI values. I'm here to tell you that's fantasy bollocks. Don't believe me? Hang on. How about now that I look like Mr. Brainsworth, your old school science teacher? Basically, the theory is this. All LED light bulbs go off and on at an incredibly fast speed. So fast that you can't actually see it with the naked eye, but it's happening all the time. The slower this occurs, the more likely it is that you're going to get a headache. And this is something that Philips Hue fanboys thrust in my face every time I have an argument with them, because apparently Philips Hue is really good at this. Why do they think this? It seems pretty clear to me that the Hue bulbs actually have a much slower refresh rate than pretty much anything in my collection. I know this because they're a nightmare to film. As soon as you get a camera on one of these things, you'll find that there is strobing, and this is caused by the fact that the Philips Hue bulb is pulsing slower than all of the other LED bulbs that I own. There is a link in the description to a guy who knows his stuff much better than me if you don't believe me, but the basic science of this is if you hold a mobile phone camera up to one of these bulbs, you'll see strobing if the speed is below a certain rate. The Philips Hue bulb, I can see strobing. The Yeelite bulb, I cannot. Hashtag science, bitch. Winner, Yeelite. CRI stands for Color Rendering Index, and this is how well a light bulb can reproduce natural light so that you can feel like you're in daylight all of the time, and it's bandied around by marketing teams as being a massive deal. Hawk, Captain Cynicism. By day, he is mild-mannered Paul Hibbert, but by night, he is Captain Cynicism! With the power to repel bullsh**! Captain Cynicism is the only thing standing between you and corporate greed. Bugs! CRI values are marketing bullshit. And the reason it's bullshit is because you're the one setting the color. I only bathe my house in hot pink. If you choose hot pink, then you're not going to get a very accurate CRI value. But of course there is something to this. Every light bulb has an ability to get somewhere close to natural daylight, and this is a measurement of that. If you set the correct setting, you're gonna get closer with some light bulbs than others. I sit in a room of purple all day long, and I'm perfectly fine. I am perfectly fine. Whichever side of this fence you're on, Philips Hue's closest possible daylight setting has a rating of 91, and Yeelight's closest possible setting has a rating of 95. Yeelight win! I got told the other day that I dress up as He-Man too often.
This is the Troll Slayer, and it shuts trolls up by measuring the lux output of light bulbs. I measured the Yeelight bulb that I was sent against the Philips equivalent, and although the Philips bulb was very slightly brighter for some colours such as red and purple, it was almost half the brightness for cool white and significantly duller for all other colours. One area that Hugh does win out in is the ability to go very, very, very dim. If this is something that you're interested in, the Hue Bulb is better in this regard than the Yee Light, but you will find the Yee Light goes dull enough for most people. For this reason, I'm calling Yee Light the winner of this round. If you want a very, very, very dim bulb, Philips Hue wins it, but that's not what most people's requirements are. Yee Light wins. Yeelight doesn't require a hub, and yet the majority of Yeelight's products will work with everything from Google Home to Amazon, uh, uh, that name I'm not going to say, to Apple HomeKit to Home Assistant. HOME ASSISTANT! I've connected this Yeelight lamp that they sent me to everything imaginable. I tried it with Google Assistant, it worked great. I tried it with Amazon, uh, and it worked great. I tried it with Home Assistant, it worked great. I even tried it with Apple. Apple HomeKit. Yes, I said Apple HomeKit. Welcome, young Skywalker, to the dark side. I might be reviewing HomeKit soon. Stay tuned for that. And whilst Philips Hue will connect you to absolutely all of the major players, Yeelight seems to have gone the extra mile to connect you to all of those things and a bunch of stuff on top of that, some of which I've never even heard of. They're doing this all without a hub, and therefore for integrations, I have to give the winner to Yeelight. It's important that I be completely transparent with you about this situation before we talk about price. The M2 bulb that I've been sent, that I've been using in my comparisons today, only actually works with Google Assistant. It doesn't work with She That Should Not Be Named. And this is why they sent me the Google Nest Hub. Hello darkness, my friend. And the reason that this specific bulb, the Yeelight M2, doesn't connect to She That Should Not Be Named is because it was developed specifically for Google's seamless setup, which looks a little bit like this. Oh my god, that's insane! <laughs> what? Almost all other Yeelight products will work with She That Should Not Be Named except for this bulb, so it's not really fair for me to be comparing prices when we're talking about this bulb versus Philips Hue. It wouldn't be fair on Philips to do that. But if you go on Amazon or wherever it is you normally do your shopping, you will find an 800 lumen version of this bulb that does work with Google Home and She That Should Not Be Named and Home Assistant and all of that good stuff. And because that one is 800 lumens rather than 1000 lumens, which is what this one is, you'll probably find the brightness is exactly the same as Philips. Whereas this one is brighter, the one on Amazon that's 800 lumens will probably be exactly the same for half the price. Therefore, ye like to win this round too. There is nothing wrong with Yee Light, but if you're going to buy the Yee Light M2 bulb that I am holding in my hand, there is one consideration. Because this uses Google Home's software and has nothing to do with Yee Light's software at all, you are limited to what Google is able to do. And one of the big missing things from Google's Home app at the moment is that you can't set the default power on behavior for your bulbs. This means if this is in your ceiling in your bedroom, room and you have a power cut and then the power comes back on, this thing is going to come on in the middle of the night and wake you up. This is not a behavior that you can change as far as I can tell right here and now. It will almost certainly be something that Google implements but it's not in place at the moment. In summary, the Yeelight range of products are cheaper than Philips Hue, better integrated than Philips Hue, and in the case of the most recent bulbs, brighter than Philips Hue, and starting to take advantage of things like Google's seamless setup. This is a big deal for a lot of people, and it's what you're going to want to get your parents for Christmas because it's a piece of piss to set up. I hope to see an Amazon-based equivalent of the M2 soon. 
This is a Bluetooth based bulb, which means it is instantaneous to react. It is more secure. You don't have to set it up with some third party app. It connects straight to your Google Home Assistant. I want to see the same thing for Amazon. This would be a really big deal and I hope Yeelight are working towards it. In the meantime, their 800 lumen equivalent does work with all these third parties and is probably almost definitely the same level of brightness as Philips Hue because it's got the same lumen value output. It's half the price and it's something that I would like to check out. I plan to get some more Yeelight stuff soon so I can confirm that that is the case. And a final thing before I say goodbye is that I am in love with this lamp. It looks like something straight out of Blade Runner and it charges my mobile phone. Yeelight do an amazing range of products. You should go and check out the link in the description to where you can buy some of this stuff from. But they do some really bonkers stuff and I am absolutely amazed that I haven't checked out Yeelight before now. The Yeelight M2 will be on sale soon. If it is not already, check the description for more details on that. I've literally just had an email back from them to say it's gonna cost 30 US dollars if you are an Americano. I don't know what it will be in the UK, probably 30 quid. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you wanna see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These amazing people here are my patrons and I can't get enough of them. They are the best human beings on the planet. Without these guys, there would be no YouTube channel. I would not still be doing this. You can do that at either Patreon if you wanna join them or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal. And either way, I will love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. And you're likely to get almost the exactly same results. Exactly the same results. Exactly the same results, you moron. <laughs> Damn it. That took so long to say. Start again. You'll find there is an 800 lumen. The 800 watt bulb is. <laughs> Which shows that Yeelight is in fact more. I've lost the word. <laughs> See you next time. I spat everywhere. I hope that didn't show up on camera. <laughs>